me get situated. <clears throat> I just woke up. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> I gotta try and get this out here. So, build episode, I think it's number seven? Hang on. Build episode number seven. <laughs> That's what this is. <laughs> All right, guys. Again, the footage from this is taken over a year ago. I'm just sharing it with you now. I filmed all of this way back then. I didn't have a channel at that point. I was just filming everything I did with this build. So this is build episode number seven. Hope you like it. This one is where things kind of really sort of take off as far as the interior goes. So. Here you go. It's template time. Okay, now that I got the basic profile done and I know where the top's going to be, I'm going to level it and then just tape it and then I'm going to build off onto this area right here, just a little bit here and then over here. And so once I've got a general template with that, then I'll go trace it onto the plywood and we'll cut our first piece. Okay, so I am done with the template, which goes from here, goes around this, and it's all the way around, all the way across like this, down here. So I'm gonna take it off, um, trace that onto plywood at this point, and cut my first sheet. So I'm gonna do this on quarter inch, and that'll be uh, the back for this cabinet. Really uh, took a long time to do that, but I can, uh, it's, I'm really starting to visualize this a little bit more and see how it's gonna look. And that really, uh, that really is gonna look nice. Okay, so because there's a seat belt mounting point here, I'm gonna transfer that onto the template that I made. So what I did is I cut a rough hole where that area is. And this is where the template sits. And this aluminum tape is going to allow me to indent those holes, so I'll just trace over it like this. There it is. I've got my indentation of where those holes are going to be on the plywood.
different directions I can go in right now I'm gonna slow down a little bit on the cabinets I put this um, <clears throat> this foam board up here and um, so it was just something I had laying around and I decided for that particular window I don't need it while I'm driving it's the only window in the van that when I do a shoulder check or I'm looking around me that I'm not looking through it so I'm considering building a cabinet that just goes floor to ceiling right in this area um, right now that's just temporarily in place just to sort of feel how it's going to feel so I'll spend some time in the van and just sort of get an idea of how it feels and then decide from there. Um, I had a thought about putting the cutting out the plywood panel for the ceiling and then screwing it up in place but then I'd kind of have to take it down put it back up take it down put it back up and I know I'd be going through that sort of like back and forth uh, process with it um, just because there's there's elements to it and there's a bunch of things to think out um, that are going to be attached to it um, so it, it, would, it would go up and then have to come back down and get all that stuff attached to it go up refit back down sort of back and forth and I'm just going to save myself from doing that right now um, until I have a little bit more thought around what exactly I'm going to do up there whether or not I'm going to be punching a hole in the ceiling for a max air fan um, and that kind of thing so that I'll hold off on for now um, and that, that brings me back down to the floor. Um, so I'm gonna do some floor work today and I'm gonna do some ceiling today. So I'm gonna, if, if this tube of sealant that I used the other day for that patch is still good, then I'm gonna use some of it today. But this, um, this thing down here, it's just a cover and that goes outside uh, the bumpers around it so you can't see it from the outside of the vehicle but uh, air can kind of get in through here um, I don't think moisture is going to come in through there but because I'm going to be putting the heater here there'll be some exhaust I was considering using these as vent ports um, and I just don't like the idea of having a ventilation system even even if it's made to be an exhaust system right beside where there could be exhaust from the, the heater I just don't want to take a chance so that's going to get all sealed in there's another one on the other side that's got uh, one-way louvers that go out um, i don't want to take a chance with that either so i'm just going to delete that whole thing and seal it in and seal this one in for that one i've actually got to build a plate for and uh, screw it into the material um, with some sealant but once that's done and that's done i can insulate this whole area cover this whole thing in um, and then that'll be done so that's step one today and then step two is to line this tub um, with some of this foam material that I've got I've got a little bit more 
and then start to build the structure out of this thing here. So it's probably going to be lined with uh, plywood um, and then that's going to have like a, a wet floor material over top of it. Don't know how this is going to go, but I'm just going to get started. Okay, so this is that panel on the other side. And this is the one from the other side of the vehicle. Just that hole right there and well, the one behind that, that piece there. So this one, got a little stuff to clean out of there. Um, you can already see, see how that, it's a one-way vent that goes from inside out. It's kind of flimsy, but it doesn't quite seal. So I'm glad I'm deleting this whole thing. I'm just gonna uh, put a piece of sheet metal over top of this whole thing and seal it all up. And that'll be that. Let's have them come out and give this a little vacuum out in there. This is one of those spots where, you know, some gets trapped down in there and then it, it gets all moist and it stays that way and then it rots from the inside of the van out. So, oh, it's fairly clear anyway. Yeah, okay, so instead of screwing around with these pieces, and they're good and all, um, I, I've got this fiberglass reinforced board, FRP. You see it in a lot of like public washrooms and stuff, um, like at gas stations. This stuff is super chemical resistant. It's water resistant, like chemical proof, waterproof, all that sort of stuff. So easy to cut. So I'm just gonna use shears. I'm gonna cut out two big squares and um, screw them on there and seal them up. And that way there's just no question because this thing can't really screw it in place. I have to put sealant on and then tape it on and it could fall off and I won't know about it. And this thing, I'm gonna somehow seal up all these holes. So we're going this route. Nothing too fancy. I'm um, probably gonna put a hole right there and I'll end up mounting my fuel pump right here for the, um, for the heater. This is the inside area. 
So you can see that sealant came all the way through, which is beautiful. And this is the other side. Let's check this out. That too, beautiful. So, <clears throat> nice and tidy. I'll, I'll let that cure before I stuff that full of insulation. Um, so in the meantime, I'm gonna work on lining this tub here with more of this foam and just gluing that all in place. Okay, so the next step is I'm gonna build the box to go in here. And I'm not going to go, I'm gonna lose a little bit of space just to make this build a little bit simple. Um, so I'll lose a little cavity right there. I'm really not concerned about it. Um, it's gonna give me a little bit more platform for the floor anyway and bed support, so that's fine. Um, so I'll probably lose half a cubic foot of space between both sides. So I'm going to build a rectangular box that's going to fill that whole thing up. Um, I'm not going to finesse the round corners, even though I did that with the insulation. I'm just going to get it as close to possible and then call it done and stuff the edges with some insulation. And that's going to come up and meet the floor deck that's going to get screwed onto it. So that's going to be a tub. I'm going to line it and then I'm going to screw the floor onto that.
so that wire is kind of getting in a way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a router and I mark the location, so I'm just gonna hollow out a section of this so that it fits flush. I built that box right there, and that's gonna go where the uh, rear stow and go was. Right now that's flipped upside down and I've got a bunch of weight on it. Uh, there's, uh, there's a piece of laminate being glued in there right now, and I wanna make sure it's, it's flat, so. I'm really not gonna do much more than that right now. I, uh, Probably cut out those asymmetrical things and then call it a day. I'm gonna shower up, clean up, get a coffee. I'm tired, four hours of sleep. Uh, yes, I'm still burning the candle at both ends. Halloween is over. Uh, I just finished taking the kid out for some trick or treating. Second year in a row. Uh, she went to six houses and she was like pretty tired. So. Anyway. Uh, now that that's done, we're gonna do some heavy shelving. <laughs> I was, uh, I was like, I had a bunch of this stuff weighted down on top of that so that I could set that flat piece of laminate on. So I'm gonna go flip it over and we'll see what it looks like. Not too bad. A little bit of spill over that'll clean off nice with a knife but uh, so that'll be the base of the, the new trunk so now I'm gonna throw on the sides and then uh, leave that for the night yeah first Halloween candy on Halloween day <laughs> <laughs> 